Fulmer, 29, a try guy from Florida. Keith Habersberger, 28, try guy from Tennessee. Cammie Crawford, 23, red carpet correspondent and Miss Teen USA 2010 from Maryland. Nia Sanchez, Miss USA 2014. Welcome to the 2016 Miss USA red carpet right here at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. We are two of the Try Guys from BuzzFeed. My name is Keith Habersberger. And my name is Ned Fulmer. You guys, we are so excited to be here hosting the red carpet. We're going to talk to all of the celebrities and contestants. And Keith, I could not be more excited. Well, why? Because we're going to meet all these beautiful, talented contest contestants from all over America? Uh, no, well, yes, yeah, yes, yes right, definitely. Right. No, because we get to meet the Backstreet Boys! Oh my god, <laughs> Backstreet's back. All right, all right, all right. Look, we nailed the joke, obviously, <laughs> but we really are excited. We've been here this entire weekend meeting all these lovely, awesome women. And i got to say, the grace, poise, and charm of these ladies, unmatched. Except for maybe us. Oh, maybe us, that's maybe true, us. that's yes, true. I we mean, are very graceful ladies. And very poised. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> But all jokes aside, we have been witnessing firsthand all of the care and dedication these ladies have gone through as they prepare for the competition. The rush as photos get taken. The, the, the dedication as poses are perfected. The, the poise, the allure, everything is wonderful it, here. It makes me feel like I'm caught up in a, a, a glamorous tornado. Oh, a beautiful whirlwind. Like a, like a, a sexy Kansas. Oh, that's right. That's definitely a Perfect. sexy Kansas. Well, we're going to get this stage set tonight. And up first, we're going to kick it backstage to our beautiful host, Nia Sanchez, Miss USA 2014. Thanks, Ned. Thanks, Keith. The energy here is amazing. The girls are having so much fun, and they're nervous, as you can expect. Seeing them brings back the anticipation, the excitement, and the torturous hours of hair and makeup like it was yesterday or this morning. Welcome to the life of the Miss USA contestants. And by the way, a big thanks to my team for making me look fabulous. As always, we have Chi Hair Care and TPF Cosmetics. Speaking of our contestants, I know I was stressing before I competed, and I'll bet you will hear that some of these girls are stressing a little bit too, but what worked for me was keeping it easy, practicing a few poses, doing a little dance, just having fun, and imagining yourself the day after you compete. You'll be in a beautiful dress, hopefully with an amazing crown to match, and you'll also be wondering if some guys might be swiping right when you're on stage. That's why earlier we took our red carpet to the strip with the stunning Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan, to find out what the guys of Las Vegas have to offer our girls. Hi, I'm Olivia Jordan, Miss USA 2015, and I am here in Las Vegas outside MGM, and I want to find out if there are any nice guys in Vegas. So I'm going to ask these guys some questions, check out their Tinder profiles, and find out, are there any guys that could date a Miss USA contestant? Are you single? I am single. Are you ready to mingle? So ready to mingle. Are you single, Ricky? Uh, complicated. It's complicated. Are you married? Actually, I'm here for my bachelor party. Oh my gosh, he's getting married. Are you ready to mingle? Are you on dating sites, profiles, apps? I don't know what they're called. I have a Tinder, yeah. yeah. How's that going for you? Not well, no. <laughs> Why is it not going well? Are you swiping left too often? Is left bad? Left's bad, but I swipe right too often. I don't get another swipe right on their end. It's just a problem. <laughs> What's the worst date that you've ever been on? The worst date, I think, would be getting the car broken down and then ending up walking to a Wendy's. How good are your moves? Like, if you're picking someone up, what do you do? They're a little rusty because it's complicated in his life right now. If it's the right person, you you know, you do the right moves. And, like, you just make it, honestly, treat someone the way you want to be treated. He's giving better advice than I'm giving. Okay, what are your first date moves? Like, what do you take or what do you talk about? I'm a coffee kind of a guy, so like maybe Starbucks, like I want to keep it safe, you know, like uh, somewhere in public. Can, can you have your phone on you? Yeah. Can I look at your Tinder? Yeah. I'm going to give you some dating advice. Right. Those that can't do teach, you guys, so here we go. They want your opinion. What do you think of this, this line? I think it's oh, funny yeah. and relevant. Okay, First let's line. read it out loud to the crowd. It says, yes, it's true, I am Becky with the good hair. <laughs> Okay, I, th I actually think that's charming. I'm all for a coffee first date, but second date, you better like step it up and take her to dinner, am I right? Uh, dinner? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm like one of those guys. Like, I, I wanna make sure that the girl's right before I make that move. But take her to dinner if you like her. Done, absolutely. You gotta pick up the tab. The first couple dates, ladies, 
Who the guy that picks up the tab a couple times? Good luck out there. I believe in you. You're going to find the one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. I think that I've done all that I can for the men of Las Vegas, so I hope they take my advice and step up their game because I know the Miss USA contestants are bringing their best, and they're going to look fabulous on that red carpet. Good luck, ladies, and good luck, gentlemen. All right, we're back wow. on the red wow. carpet. Wow. Ned and Keith here. Wow. Thanks, Olivia. We have got some of our judges here. You want us to know what it takes? Well, let's find out. All right, so you are all the judges. Uh, three of the judges. Yeah. Three, three of the judges. Three of the judges. Yeah. Can you introduce yourselves real quick, just so everybody knows who you are? Absolutely. I'm Nigel Barker. I'm Laura Brown. Josie. So let me get inside the mind of a Miss USA judge. What, what does it take? How can you pick just one? I don't know that you can ju pick just one. I think it's very tough, personally. You I mean, literally look, have to. But you you look at, I know you have job. to. I, I want to take them all home. No, um, seriously, though, I will have Well, I will have one of them in front of me. I'm going to be photographing the winner. Right? So for me, as a phot photographer, mm. I am going to be looking for someone who does have that kind of um, it factor, that mm -hmm. confidence, you mm -hmm. know, for sure. What are you looking for? I'm looking for smarts and mojo, honestly. Like, I yes. think it's all well and good if a lady looks great in a swimsuit, but that's not why I'm here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that, answering the questions, having, like, you know, I mean, I work in the fashion business. We're, like, pretty girls. Wow. But if you don't have yeah. this, man, yeah, yeah right. I'll be yeah. out of here. I think you need the confidence and the poise. Like, we talk about this all the time. How many awful dresses have we seen on the red carpet in, like, every event? But mm. if they can carry that dress off with confidence and poise, I'm always like, you win in my book, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So let's play a game uh, where you stare into my eyes. Mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone, everyone but be quiet. Electric, can we be, can I can't. we get some quiet here? I want you to communicate who you think the winner will be mm -hmm. in my oh. eyes. We're going to read. I feel a little West Coast action. A little West from Coast. This. West Coast, best coast. Oh my God. <sighs> California. I, I got California. California. I got California. I got California, I got California from that. <laughs> Wow, Come I don't on, know. You, you guys are so handsome given you're so drunk. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very true. Um, I, if there were only a Miss, Mr. USA, if uh, only. We could, In, uh, this is yeah. also why I'm here. Why not? Mr. USA, come on. Right? Uh, I'm all for it too. <laughs> and I thought that was Joe. <laughs> I'm saying Mr. USA Speedo competition, and then we're talking. Uh, now we could rock. We are speedo. ready. We, we are, are ready. For we, I'm wearing we, we a speedo wearing under this. <laughs> it's it's more, more of a more of a banana. Sorry, that'd be a little chafy <laughs> after yeah. a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's true. Uh, so so uh, how do you get? How do you become a judge for Miss USA? This one's an expert. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've been judging for years. So I'm not quite sure whether you know you, you just He's get chosen or what the right deal now. is. So yeah. mm. I've done Miss Universe, Miss America, Miss um, World, and of course Top Model for years. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys. Oh, he's done Miss Interplanetary. Remember that time, the aliens? <laughs> yes. You did. Aliens. Um, That's what Miss Universe yeah. is all about. Yeah. Miss, <laughs> uh, miss all other species. Um, no, I work for Harper's Bazaar magazine, and I was called up to do this. And I was honestly like, oh, well, I really into the spectacle of it, but I, I honestly think I'm here to help push this along a bit. And I think it's, got, it's a new day, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I'm here for all the smart ladies out there. Nice. Oh, yeah. No, I, I agree. I agree. I'm a, I'm a judging virgin, too. Oh. So I, I kind of, no, I said that, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to be biased going to this. I, I, want to, I want to relish every single minute because we'll never have a first time again. Or even if they even ask us back ever. Do you think they'll ask us back, Laura? I don't know. We could be the three pariahs, but we'll I, do our best. As long as you eventually select a winner, I'm, I'm sure that everything yeah. else is, we, is, is fine. We had a great tutorial yesterday in pushing buttons. Yeah. Ooh. Which was challenging because we are in fashion. The funniest thing is it looks like it's something out of Austin Powers. I mean, yeah. it literally hasn't changed since the sort of mid-60s. Yeah. It's great, though. I think yeah. you have <laughs> we do. Now, Anything's possible. You're all fairly attractive. Have thank you ever, you so much. obviously, <laughs> thank you, I think. <laughs> have okay. you ever considered competing in any pageants yourselves? Uh, not at my age. Just the pageant of life. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe for Mr. Fairly Attractive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about, how about she's got a great personality? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. That, that's mine. <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, uh, I don't you. know how you guys are going to be able to pick just one, but thank you so much for talking with us. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's like Sophie's Choice, just right. like that. Yeah. Right. I mean, can be do, only you, one. do you think that you could pick just one? I, I couldn't do it. I mean, this evening is going to be so stacked uh, with big competition. Yeah. And speaking of this evening, just to get here, they had to go through so many pr preliminaries. Uh, but we have a pretty sick highlight reel, so why don't we check that out right now? Hi, I'm Ned Fulmer, and welcome to Beauty Center. 
We're going to be analyzing the highlights and breaking down the hottest plays from the preliminary action. Up first, Miss South Carolina with a powerful spin. Let's take a closer look. She steps up, looks left, looks right, analyzing the coverage. Whoa! What a hair flip! That hair is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Never in my 20 years of broadcasting have I seen a spin like that. The spin for the win. Let's keep those spins rolling with Miss South Dakota. Oh, did you see that? That was fast, ladies and gentlemen. Look at her posture, 10 degrees, that's perfect. That is a fast spin, that is lightning fast speed. And her field is, she's looking in the front and the back, she's got eyes in the back of her head. Incredible. Up next, Miss Nevada clearly vying for some home field advantage in her home state. And look at her vision. Look at the determination in her eyes. She is staring down the crowd. And they are staring right back, loving every minute of this action. Up next, Miss Florida Sunshine State. Look, she's looking forward. She's looking down. Whoops, I drew in her face. Sorry about that. Uh, Miss Florida, ladies and gentlemen. But wait, up next. Miss Mississippi with a cape. Oh, you can spell that M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S -S -I -S -S -I because I am blown away right now. Wow, what a cape. Finally, it's Miss New Jersey with a confident smile of a winner. Shut down the turnpike because she is rocking this. Uh, Nat, I got to say you killed that. That was incredible. That was really wonderful. I do like sports, Keith. I do like sports. Wow. Uh, but, you know, we don't have to just look at a play-by-play -play of contestants. We have contestants joining us right We've now. We've got two of them right now. Who we got? Uh, we have got Miss California USA and Miss Georgia USA. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hey How's it going, ladies? How are you doing? Doing very well. How are mm -hmm. you guys doing today? Oh, we're good. We're good. Well, yeah, good. you guys look good. We're chilling. Thank we're you. Yes, I know yes. it must be intimidating to be next to such gorgeous men. Yeah, it is a little bit. I'm kind of worried. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't be. You really, you, you both look lovely. Uh, you're here Thank tonight. You. Uh, what, what's this whole experience been like? Yeah. Um, it's been really, really fun. I must say, like, we've done so much stuff in a week and a half, and then I've met some of the best women. We were just saying, like, these are our bridesmaids. Like, oh. we're going to have 51 bridesmaids. That's a big wedding party. <laughs> <At our> wedding. <laughs> That's a good wedding. Yeah, but it's been really fun. We've got to do so much um, and just meet a, a lot of amazing people and just, you know, cool. uplift so many beautiful women here. It's been awesome. So. Walk us through your preparation yeah. process. What has the day been like? Rehearsal, rehearsal, and rehearsal. Okay. It has been so many rehearsals, but it has been such an incredible experience from Seven in the morning to ten o'clock at night, we are just on our feet, going over what we're going to do for the final show, and mm -hmm. all of our hard work paid off because we're here and it's happening, and this is incredible. Yeah, I, I do have a question for you. you. Know, you are, you know, the example uh, of perfection. But what's an embarrassing moment that's ever maybe happened in your pageant history? Has anything ever gone wrong? Everything goes wrong. <laughs> when, you, when you need everything to go right, it always goes wrong. Mm -hmm. I have broken my phone since I've been here, my computer since I've been here. Oh, wow. I mean, I've been I've been tried, but I mean, it's good that I didn't have a lot of my technology for some time because I got to really focus on what's important, mm -hmm. and that's today. And then I have so many amazing people around me. It's like you don't need any of that stuff. So mm -hmm. um, I think always when you you need to be as on as possible, things go wrong. But you just have to get back up and just keep on pushing. So. It's cool. It's great. Yes, perseverance. Wow. And Word of the day. What about you, Miss California, USA? An embarrassing moment well, from the Well, I can't pageant? say I have the unlucky technology problem. <laughs> 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 yes, but I mean, like, like she said, we go through things every single day. We have our moments. This can become so overwhelming at times. Or mm. I just like will laugh and then break out into tears. I think we just had a moment like that <laughs> backstage. <laughs> Oh, us two, us two, us two, yeah. us two. Okay. same boat. <laughs> same. Right, we're not the only ones. <laughs> yeah, our couple's name is Georgia Fornia. Yeah, Georgia Oh, Fornia. I like that. Yeah. We're going to have a show called so, the Georgia Fornia Show. And it sh it's going to break <laughs> that stereotype that pageant girls are trying to be so perfect because I don't think that should be a thing anymore. I think showing mm -hmm. your imperfections and, like, wearing your heart on your sleeve is what's going to make you relatable and make you a good Miss USA. So don't say we're perfect. We're not, but we're just going to be a voice for those girls who Great. question that. That's excellent. That's awesome. It sounds like it's a lot of pressure. Uh, it, how is how are you dealing with the pressure? Is it does it ever get intimidating? Well, yeah, of course it gets intimidating. I mean, like anything, when you're looking at your dream sitting right in front of your face, I mean, it's always going to be like, you know, oh my gosh. But 
when you have amazing women around you who are so uplifting and there for you just as much as they're there for themselves, mm -hmm. it makes it so much easier. And then I know a lot of us, the majority of us have our family behind us. We're going to have so many people out there supporting us. So that helps as well. Um, but yeah, like just having people like this, you know what I mean? The Georgia Fornia girls, it, it's awesome. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, uh, your outlook is incredible. I love oh, uh, the bit you. about how we're not perfect and we shouldn't yeah. try to be. You know, we, yeah. we embrace our imperfections. Yeah. That's awesome. excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things on this red carpet. One of the best features, actually, yes. the Chi hair swap booth. Have you ever wondered what you look like with different hair? Well, now you can right now. Let's Me. throw it over. Let's check it out, the Chi yeah. hair swap booth. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Hey, we're live. Hi, everyone. Um, we're here at uh, Farouk Systems by hair, uh, by Chi hair swap booth, and um, we're the red carpet guests and the uh, um, other Miss USA contestants or candidates can uh, swap hairs with their friends. Yeah. So, like, we want to know. We want to know if blondes if, really have more fun. Yeah, if, if it's really <laughs> brunettes or blondes. And I'm then, voting um, blondes. We and uh, obviously, I'm both voting for brunettes. Okay. So let's find out let's which one it. looks better. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have two more judges to talk to, Crystal and Allie, who are both former contestants. That's right. How's it going, you guys? Welcome. Great. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, oh, thanks for being here. Yeah. So, you have been through it before. Now, how does it feel to be on the other side judging the contestants? Yeah? Um, yes. It's, it's a bit nerve wracking because in this moment, you get a flood of memories. I can imagine you mm. To. Oh, look, we both have a mic. This oh, we perfect. both have one. Thank you. you want this one? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I think you're thinking because they're about to go live, they're probably so nervous. I just hope that they can relax, yeah. be themselves, and really just have a great time so we can see who they really who they are. truly are. It's like you're, you're rooting for them. Uh, you know, it's like you're judging yeah. them, but you're also their biggest fan. Definitely. We want the best for them. We want them to do their best and shine. That's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are you going to be looking for today? Me, I think with all the beautiful women, it's 52 women that are competing, they're all beautiful. I'm looking for confidence. I'm looking for someone that's mm -hmm. modern, that's chic, that's trendy, that's fun. Not the typical pageant patty, robotic yeah. girl. What about and you? I, I'm looking for, I want the confidence as well, because I think mm -hmm. confidence, you know, goes a very, very long way. And you yeah. need to have it after you're going to be put into this situation. Yeah. But I also want somebody that's humble. And I want somebody who is gracious as well. And I think that I prayed before I came, actually, because it is a big responsibility because that girl's life is going to change tomorrow. Like, everything is going to change. When I look in her eyes, like, I really want to be able to see her soul. Like, that's what I want. Oh, wow. 
Could you speak to some of the changes that actually come with the title of Miss USA? What is what is that? What is that like? Uh, I mean, oh to have gosh. that. <laughs> it's a whirlwind. I mean, I think when I won, I moved to New York. That was my first time moving from home, from the small town in Texas. Um, you spend a year there working. It's it's just a whirlwind. You're just thrown into celebrity, the celebrity life. And I hear you? there's an apartment. There's it's like, an apartment. A, like, like a New York <laughs> Miss USA apartment. Yeah. Is that real? Yes, really nice apartment. Really what? nice. Wow. We all lived together. It was, it was Miss Teen USA, myself, and Miss Universe. When I other. was, I had my own apartment, and the Miss Universe lived above me, like in another apartment. So that was nice. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, your own apartment. <laughs> she had to share. No, 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 no. No, it was all good. It's like. Miss Universe like doesn't want you to eat her snacks because she's like, I bought those specifically for me. <laughs> That's right. Or you didn't do the dishes, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so since you guys are judges, we are going to give you our best, most confident, poised look right now. Okay. okay. And we want you to just be completely harsh, break it down, just just break us down. Ready? Okay. On Who's three. First? On three. Ready? Well, no, we're both gonna do it at the same time. Oh. Okay. Is that gonna? Tr that we could we could do it individually. Oh, so like you're you're like you're like one unit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Say, so. Yeah, one unit. Yeah, okay, definitely. Okay, okay. 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 Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Oh wow. Not one unit. Number one. <laughs> you were like overly excited and a little stiff, and you were just like over it. Like get me out of here. Yeah. Like I'm done. Like, don't, I can't bother. <laughs> so basically, we're not looking for either one of those no. things. OK. Well, we're All right. Competing. Well, good thing we aren't competing. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe Mr. USA. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we will, uh, good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so uh, we're actually, I'm going to grab this. This yep. one, they're having trouble with one of these mics. Uh, we're actually going to throw now, you know, there's a, there's always a part in these where we need to talk about the questions that the audiences want to know. The audience wants to know the hashtag behind the beauty on Twitter. People have been submitting their questions. We're going to throw now uh, to those questions. So let's throw right out and check it out. Answering some more Miss USA questions from social media. Are you ready for this one? I'm ready. Okay, so this one's from Mike underscore Mitnick, and he wants to know what is a book or movie that has had a large impact on your life? I would say my favorite book, which is Wild. And I'm not only a outdoor enthusiast, I'm a wildlife biologist, I'm an outdoor educator, but it's a book that's really about putting yourself in a situation that you've never been in before, challenging yourself to something that's really scary and daunting and learning about yourself through the process. And there's actually a quote in the book where she's really afraid. And so she screams out, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. And she gets through it. So whenever I'm afraid of something, I always just go find a corner and either scream it or I say it internally. I'm not afraid. It's gotten me through a lot of situations, and I will be saying it to myself before I go on stage because I am not afraid. I am ready. Yeah, so if you hear somebody screaming, I'm not afraid backstage, <laughs> it's Vermont. Okay, our next question is from A underscore shoes, and they want to know, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, hopefully being a fantastic Miss USA and Miss Universe, but I um, would like to pursue, pursue my master's degree, degree, excuse me, my master's degree in natural resources through a program in the Peace Corps called Masters International, where you do one year on campus and two years in the Peace Corps. And hopefully I will go back to South America where I've already lived for six months while doing research. I would love to help establish some permaculture practices, farming practices, some conservation work down there and, and really have a, a good experience and propagate some good in the world. The world needs more good, as much as we can get, right? That's what we're here for. <laughs> well, I cannot believe it's almost competition time already. We're about to start the show, but for our girls, of course, we wish them the best of luck, and for our viewers, do not forget to tune in tonight, Fox. On Fox, at 7 p.m., we're going to be crowning the new Miss USA right here, and make sure you tune back in, because on July 30th, we're going to be crowning Miss Teen USA 2016. You do not want to miss this. Don't miss it. <laughs> Hey, it's Ned Fulmer and Keith Habersberger back at the Miss USA 2016 red carpet. We're here with Ashley Graham, Sports Illustrated cover model and generally beautiful person. <laughs> Ashley, I am such a big fan. Oh my gosh, I see you on BuzzFeed all the time. All the time. And you are an inspiration to so many young women out there. Thank you. And young men. Thank um, you. What is it like being an amazing role model? 
Wow, um, it's a role that I don't take lightly. It's something that my mother always told me that my younger sisters, I have two of them, they're mm -hmm. always watching everything I do, what I say, what I, my actions are. Mm -hmm. So I kind of look at all of my fans as my little sisters, and I think if I wouldn't want them doing it, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. That's a great attitude. I also have a younger sister as well. Oh, and, hey, uh, baby sis. Hey, baby sis. What's, What's up? up? I don't have any sisters. Oh, I look good. I haven't seen myself yet. You look oh, great. Yeah, yeah I, look, I look really good. Oh, yeah. Now, you actually we have matched. your own... Uh, <laughs> line of swimwear coming out, yes. is that correct? Yes, it, it just launched last week, swimsuitsforall.com. Wow. We started at size 10 and go up to a 24. Nice, that's cool. excellent. Now, uh, as Try Guys, we have occasionally, you know, modeled swimsuits. We've tried to do some uh, swimsuit photography, and I realized it's pretty difficult. Um, what, what are some of the more challenging aspects of being in a big photo shoot like that? Well, you know, there's always challenges in a bikini because you're hoping things don't pop out. Right. You know, you're yeah. hoping oh, that yep, yep, you yep. look sexy because you've got sand and dirt and <laughs> wind and wet hair, and then you're all of a sudden like, now go. <laughs> um, so there is a lot of elements that are involved in it, but at the end of the day, I just have a lot of fun, and I actually like wearing less clothes when I'm modeling. I, I kind of mm. think it's a little freeing. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah, well, we certainly <laughs> like We agree. Yeah, we, we also we like less clothes. Agree. They yeah. forced us to wear suits. We wanted to be in Speedos the entire Darn time. You're like, wouldn't that be great if we were in Speedos? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how you got here. How did you become uh, such a great role model you are? Where did you start? Wow. Um, well, it didn't happen overnight. I've been modeling for over 16 years now, and I started when I was 12. I'm 28 wow. years old, and um, I went to high school in Nebraska, moved to New York at 17, and my career really just started taking off in the last, you know, decade, but slowly but surely. And I really, you know, I, a lot of young girls and models always ask me, like, how did you get here? What did you do? Pace, patience. Patience is a mm -hmm. virtue. And at the end of the day, if you have a great team, a great group of friends, and you have an end goal, I have a vision board, and everything on my vision board has been happening. Um, and you just, you, you go after what you want. So what is, what is the top of the vision board? Well, I have to make a new one because TED Talk, Sports <laughs> Illustrated, um, swimsuit, lingerie, and dresses have already happened. So now I've got to think bigger and broader. <laughs> maybe maybe BuzzFeed videos. Maybe you come and you hang out with us. You know I what mean, I'm those have yeah. been happening. I mean, I, mean, I don't think I, I need mean, to put even, it on even, my vision board. That's true. That's true. Right? That's Didn't true. you see my last one, that's my true. live one, honey? More. more Weren't you more, watching? More and more. You're never with us. <laughs> have you ever come let's with us? Let's make it happen. Yeah. never come let's with us. Let's make it happen. All right. Done. Done. Now, let's cut to the hard issues. Okay. Do you like kittens or... Or puppies. I am more of a cat person, okay. Okay. but okay. I don't okay. own any animals because I'm never home. Right. My husband is a dog person, so we might have an issue there later. But mm. you know, it is what it is. My mm. wife loves dogs. She's really? pressuring me to get a dog hard, and it's finally happening. <laughs> uh, but so the internet is full of cats. Yes. Do you do you follow, do you like any? Internet oh yeah! Cats in oh particular. yeah! Instagram, cats of Instagram is everything. In fact, one of my friends was a cat of Instagram for Halloween, and I thought that was the best costume I've ever seen. Well, right. thank you so much. I'm glad we could end on such a deep question. Uh, thanks for spending some time with us. You really are a tremendous uh, role model, and we you. appreciate you your time with us You guys look handsome today. tonight. Thank you okay. for having thank me. Thank you very thank much. You. Thanks. Uh, now, obviously, anybody can make this work, but you can look even more beautiful in slow motion and 360 degrees, which is why we have a booth for that. What is that booth? It's Ned? called the Twitter 360 degree video booth. I gotta get me one of these because it is pretty cool. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Just for work, just for personal. Just for fun. I just, just for fun. Just it looks I like need, fun. I can never see my butt in slow motion, ever. Na that's true. That's just a fact of life. Soon I'll be able to with that. All right. Well, we have two more lovely contestants with us here. We've got Miss Texas and Miss Washington, USA. Hi, Hello. Guys. How are you guys doing? Hi. Thanks Excellent. For of course. Oh, yeah. Thank you Thanks for, for being, being here. here. Uh, this is a big day, obviously. Yeah. You've been, yes, it is. I uh, heard you guys woke up at like 3 a.m. Yeah. A lot of us had to wake up extremely early. 
We came out. We were lucky because we got to come with no hair and makeup done. Mm. This was all done up for us, mm -hmm. but it was an early wake up. Call. We we also got got a little glam going I'm on. Sure you can tell. I'm sure you can tell. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> looks perfect. So, now, uh, when in your life did you decide that you wanted to try to become Miss USA? You know. Um, I actually first started when I was 13 years old, um, just because my mom was going to advise me to do it first, and I was like, I I don't think I'm gonna do it. You know, whatever. I'm not gonna win. I ended up winning. It was a small local pageant, and there, Miss and Teen would go on to do Miss Texas and Miss Texas Teen USA, and I did it. I hated it when I first did it. I was throwing up. I hated the entire environment. I was like, I'm never doing this ever again. And then I loved it. I won Texas Teen <laughs> USA, and then I came back from Miss Texas and I won that. Yeah, for me, honestly, I started watching Miss USA since I was a little girl on the TV, and just thought. Wow, you know, she's so beautiful and she's so poised. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I never thought that I would ever get the opportunity to be here because at that time, most of the women represented on that stage, they didn't look like me or mm -hmm. they weren't my size. I'm one of the shortest contestants at 5'3". So, um, but my friend Cassie Searles, who's a former Miss Washington, talked to me about all of the opportunities that this could present for me and how this is really about finding a role model for young women and the fact that you know, I do represent a lot of the women out there who are who are short like me or ethnic or whatever it may be. And so it's important that we have all of that diversity represented on that stage. And there's no equation for what it means to be a role model in terms of a size, a height, a shape, a color. And so I'm just excited to be up on that stage. Awesome. Well, congratulations on being here. Good Thank luck. You, you ladies Thank are going to do great. Thank you so much. Uh, now we're going to jump back over to the Chi Hair Swap booth and see what crazy hairstyle people are gonna trade let's check it out They just became dogs. They became dogs. They became dogs. Uh, that that wasn't that you know. was a hair swap with a dog. Yeah. All right. Well, now we've got a very exciting guest, Miss Olivia Jordan, Miss USA 2015. How's it going, Olivia? <laughs> I like that I'm still a Miss. Got <laughs> well, my Miss Olivia Jordan now. Well. <laughs> uh, we it's going great. we enjoyed uh, your package of the watching the, the talking to the Vegas guys out on the street. What are your oh, what are your hopes for today? Um, I, what are my I, hopes? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they are. Uh... Um, I had a great time interviewing people on the mm -hmm. street. We met some characters. Yeah, we sure did. You guys have did. to tune in to see because they, yeah, it, got it was weird. great. It was it great. Got, I mean, they edited it to look less weird, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Making the men of Las Vegas appear completely normal. Yes, yeah, that was the goal, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. So what was, uh, what's this last year been like for you? Uh, this has been an extraordinary year, and I hope to say not the most extraordinary in my life because I hope to go on and do great things, yeah. but it has been amazing. What is, uh, what's one of the, the best opportunities you've had as Miss USA? I got to lobby in DC for ovarian cancer, and then I got to come wow. back for the Alzheimer's Association with my dad, who's been a volunteer for 20 years. So the coolest part of my year was that I got to introduce my dad to some senators that he didn't know yet. I was like, wow. oh, just come on over. I have the inside scoop. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's incredible. It that's was incredible. Awesome. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. And so when you're looking for the next Miss USA, what, yes. are, what are you going to be looking for? I'm looking for a woman that's going to be confident, that's going to be grateful for this role. And honestly, you have to be willing to work really hard and not need any sleep at all. <laughs> yeah. that's, those are the requirements. <laughs> How do you us do too. That? Us How do you too. Do that? I know. Yeah. I, I, I honestly say that. We're, look, look at us. We're we're nowhere near the beauty of all the people yeah. here. Guys, don't sell yourself short. Okay, then maybe we are right. just yeah. disqualified. Right here. Is everybody Come on. here? That's true. That's Looking true. Looking very dapper in these suits, by the way. Thank Did you, you. pick Thank them you out? Or do you do you get styled? How does this work? We Both? picked them out. Well, you know, my wife. Really? My wife dresses uh, me very well. And uh, that's and why. I mean, I think that's why you get married. And I own one suit. And so it looks good every time. Nails it every time. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Right? That's, that's how it goes. Broke. Yeah, I agree. 
Well, thank you so much, Olivia. Thank it was you great guys. speaking with you. Thank Congratulations you. on all of your work over the last year. Thank you. And I look forward to even more great things you're going to be putting into the world. I, know, I loved hearing what you've done. Stay tuned, because yeah. good stuff is coming. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, let's go back to Cammie with more of your fan questions. Remember, it's hashtag beyond the beauty. Cammie, how's it going? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Miss Hawaii USA, and we are answering the hashtag Beyond the Beauty questions that our fans sent us before the show on our Miss USA social media accounts. Are you ready to answer some questions? Yes, I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so Johnny Mac wants to know, if you could live anybody's life for a day, who would it be and why? Good question, Johnny Mac. I'd probably have to say Ellen DeGeneres, just to have her... Her life, what a cool job. She's so giving, she always gives back. She's dancing and having fun and she's just is so much good and she's such a good um, inspiration to all of us young girls. Ellen DeGeneres, you're the yeah. bomb girl. Okay, so our next question is from Embo91 and they want to know how would you use your platform as Miss USA to help the world? My personal platform as Miss Hawaii USA is educating the youth on health and fitness. So as an athlete myself, I would go out and just be myself. I'm a healthy, confident, um, athletic young woman so i think that's something i just continue to do and hopefully inspire young girls along the way yes that's amazing well have fun tonight thank you so much, thank you so much. and back to you keith and ned it's wonderful wonderful here i am joined by the hosts of miss usa 2016 terrence j and julianne huff and the activity is getting out of control we're having so much fun mm -hmm. how does it feel to be hosting the miss usa pageant it's amazing, it's so fun. And I especially really love this year because we're really bringing the essence of what this competition is about, which is about confidence and self-love, mm -hmm. um, all the things that make a woman beautiful, not just the physical appearance. So that's why I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> Absolutely, and what part of the competition are you most excited about? Uh, you know, the interview question. You know, people <laughs> might think that my answer would be swimsuit. That's that, what I was thinking. That was the old me, the new and improved me. I want to hear the interview question. I want to hear what these ladies have to say. Yes, and we've seen in the past that the interview question is very important because it can go completely crazy or they can nail it. <laughs> um, since you're a dancer, do you have any advice for these young ladies on stage, how to rock that stage? <laughs> Um, I think for me, it's the more natural, the better. I think that when you go out there, you want to have fun, show your true self, and uh, yeah, not take yourself too, too seriously. Absolutely. <laughs> and Terrence, did you have any ladies in your life that got kind of jealous that you were going to be here with all these beautiful women? Listen, I brought my mom here uh, <laughs> this entire week. So she's been walking around like, like a kid in the candy store. You know, we all love pageants. This event is just so empowering. It's so much fun to see how hard these ladies work. They're, they're beautiful on the outside, and we'll see all of that. But they're so smart. They, they have professional careers, and I can't wait for a big night. Absolutely, I agree. You guys are going to do an amazing job. Thank you so much for being here. And to all the viewers out there, make sure you tune in for Miss USA 2016 on Fox at 7 p.m. 6 Central. And I know the clock is ticking. The girls are rushing to get their last minute looks together. Nothing feels better to calm the pre-competition nerves than hitting a pinata, <laughs> beating the confetti out of it, and might even save your makeup artist some time with all that glitter. Um, I wonder how the girls are doing in the pinata portion of the evening. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, that oh, was insane. Wow. <laughs> that wow. Was wow. Incredible. Uh, who needs pepper spray when you've got those ladies? I know. That uh, was intense. We're actually joined by some of those incredibly strong and very aggressive sometimes ladies. Miss hey, Montana, hey. Miss Rhode Island, USA. How are you both doing? Doing very well. How are you? Oh, we're good. We're, we're good. We're, we're, we're but it's good. not we're about chilling. us. It's about yeah, you. you guys. All right. You represent two of the, the largest and the smallest states. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yep. are a great pair. Uh, what's to, t walk us through this day. What has this process of preparation been like? It's been crazy. I don't. Um, sorry, I'll get closer. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. been madness. We've been up since 3 a.m. So mm -hmm. just preparing and getting everybody ready. It's it's been crazy. Yeah, uh, not much sleep from last night. We had a full day of rehearsals yesterday with all of our talent, and um, not much sleep, but... Team no sleep. Mm -hmm. Team no sleep. That's what we <laughs> talked about before we walked in. You know, you are becoming uh, role models for so many people, and Absolutely. you already are. Who are some of your role models uh, going into today? I'm a big supporter of Viola Davis, who is coincidentally from my hometown, Central Falls, Rhode Island. Oh, wow. So big shout out to Viola Davis. <laughs> um, she's just such an empowering woman and driven by her passions. And that's what I look for in my role models. Malala Yousafzai, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> she is a, an advocate for education. She is my biggest role model. I actually follow her foundation on Instagram. And I'm reading I, her book. Are you, I just Great finished book. it not too long ago. It's wonderful. She has a really, really compelling story. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys are preparing for the competition later. Yes. And we're very excited about that. What's something that we could learn about you that we won't see on stage? Mm -hmm. Well, I had this little talent that I can show you guys really quick if you want to see that. Yeah. Okay, yeah so. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? what? Oh, yeah. What? And I can do the wave with my eyebrows. Whoa! <laughs> wow. I don't have anything fun like that. You don't that. have any uh, tricks with no, parts no, of your no face? No, no fun tricks. I don't have tricks. Put that back um, away. But something you don't know about me, I have dual citizenship in this oh, country and Portugal. Cool. Both my parents wow. are from Portugal. Wow. Very cool. Very Congratulations cool. for belonging Ronaldo. to two places. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks so much, Miss oh, Montana, yeah. Miss Rhode us. Island, thanks USA. Oh, my yeah. gosh. It's Thank our pleasure. Thank you, guys. Oh, thanks. Heck yeah. Hope you have fun. Oh, we're, we're already having a great are you guys, time. Like, I hope you're excited for Backstreet Boys, too. Oh, my, oh <laughs> my God. You have no oh idea. You have no idea. Yes. You have no idea. Yes. yes. We okay. are freaking out about the Backstreet Boys. So we can't get to them yet. Before we get to the Backstreet Boys, let's go to the Chi Hair Systems booth and have more fun with the hair swaps. We are back here on the 2016 Miss USA red carpet. And we are joined by someone very important, aren't we, Ned? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? This is Mr. Farouk of Chi Hair Systems. How's it going? Very good. Ned, doing very well. nice to Hi, meet Ned. you. Nice to meet you, Keith. Nice to meet you, Keith. So uh, I got to say real, real quick, before we get even started, I'm looking at these shoes. Yeah. What's the deal behind these shoes? These are incredible. These are stunning. This is Chi. This is energy. Uh -huh. Red is energy. Chi is energy. That's all. We are into the Chi business. <laughs> All right. What do you think of that? I love it. I love okay. it. Absolutely. I, I think you're so, a very well-dressed, fashionable yeah, man. If you get the sale, then you get the chi, you got it all. So I had not heard of your company before, but I asked my wife, uh -huh. like, what, what, what is this? And she was like, oh, my God, what? Chi, I love it. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the origin story. How did the company well, start? Well, you know, I mean, uh, Chi is known by women. That's why you did not know there about you go. it. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. makes sense. Actually, makes sense. Makes sense. in fact, according to research, 97% of women in the United States of America, when they hear Chi, they know that is wow. the that's Chi a high percentage. iron flat, you know, straightened iron. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how, you know, so, so originally Chi is ceramic hair iron, which is mm -hmm. energy. And that's what mm -hmm. they, oh, that that's how the name That's the energy, yeah, yeah. yes. So. And, and how did you develop this, this huge company? Uh, what was the beginning to now? Well, you know, I love women. And we can I, agree with that. Yeah, you yeah agree, sure, sure. You know, we agree. You sure we agree. you both straight? That's yep. good. Okay, fine. It doesn't matter. And anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I think, you know, I found out as a hairdresser, as the champion of the United States of America in hairdressing in the 80s, yeah. I found all these companies using product that ruin hair, even, mm -hmm. okay? Not good, 
not updated, there is no innovation. So I wanted to save the lives of the hairdressers mm -hmm. and their clients. Women deserve everything. God created men to serve women. Do you know that? <laughs> I know that. I know well, that's true. Okay. I live that every day. Well, I'll tell your wife to make sure that you follow the rules, okay, <laughs> on that. So I, I developed and evolved, you know, developed and committed my time to really how to improve and innovate the beauty business. Mm -hmm. Professionally, at the salon, to save the hairdresser alive, you know, no chemicals, no harsh chemicals, mm -hmm. no, no strange things, you know, like ammonia, uh, right. formaldehyde, all of that. Sodium so, lauryl sulfate. So we innovated the uh, professional beauty business, thank God, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Even, you, you know, the GI and the uh, dryer, you know, like irons or dryers gives electromagnetic field with mm -hmm. lots of positive energy, mm -hmm. uh, positive ions mm -hmm. that activate the depression hormones. I wanted to save the hairdresser. They're not going to be crazy anymore if they use the chi dryer wow. and the chi iron. Wow. This is all. Wow. This is the wow. most fascinating thing I've it ever heard. Next level idea. stuff, Listen, Farouk. I work with NASA people, you know, with NASA scientists. This is. If NASA this agrees, is then you know you're right. right. Yeah. So it was everybody. my childhood dream to be an astronaut. It, yeah. it seems okay. like you are you are you are living with NASA. So we we will have the shampoo on ready for your son. You know, when he is an astronaut. Incredible. Actually, we you know what, we send two experiments. You know, uh, on the shuttle with NASA. One was, to, uh, yes, one to encapsulate uh, pomegranates, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, okay, mm -hmm. and the other olive oil, mm -hmm. okay, because, you know, when you put olive oil or mm -hmm. pomegranates, it goes bad after a while. If we encapsulate, it and encapsulate that in the space, as you, you know, it's a nanotechnology, and as you put it on the face, wow. on the face it's fresh. It's like you just got it today. Well, wow. Farouk, so. I have to say that is out of this world. I was going to say the it same thing. It's, it's, it's <laughs> NASA. But thanks okay. for stopping by. All right, thank uh, we you really very appreciate much. it. Pleasure. Appreciate right. it very Good much. Day. Thank you very thank much. You. Good day. Enjoy, Monsieur USA. And uh, uh, now let's check in with Cami for okay. more of your questions on hashtag Beyond the Beauty. Thanks, guys. I'm back here with Miss Colorado USA, ready to answer some more questions that our fans sent us on the Miss USA social media accounts. Are you ready to answer some crazy questions? Let's do it. Yeah, they're okay. not that crazy, but I promise you. Okay, so Meyer underscore Linter wants to know, how has your definition of beauty evolved over the years? Very good question. Um, I think as I've matured and as I went to college and gained life experience, I really learned that beauty is more who you are on the inside. Growing up, you look at magazines and even pageants and celebrities, and it's all about the hair products and the clothes and everything tangible and physical. But I think as I've gotten older and started to live my life a little bit more, I've realized that beauty is really who you are as a person and your personality and what's on the inside. Great. Beauty is more than skin deep. Okay, our next question is from Zara Sandoval, and they want to know what has been the greatest challenge you faced in preparation for this competition? The biggest challenge, I think, is just balancing everything I was already involved with before winning Miss Colorado USA. I mean, preparing for Miss USA is a full-time job, but you still want to keep, you know, you don't want to put all of your eggs in that basket because there is only one girl that's going to come out of this with the crown this evening. So I think really just making sure you're staying involved with everything you were doing before, um, but still working hard for this title has been, was the most challenging thing. Right. Absolutely. Well, guys, this could be you next year. You could be the next Miss USA, Miss Teen USA, or Miss Universe. So try your hand at the crown and see if it fits at apply.missusa.com. And you could be standing on the Miss USA stage next year, right? Of course. What's better than Anyone that? can do it. Back to you, Ned and Keith. You oh. guys. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we, it, it is time for the most exciting part of this red carpet thus far. The Backstreet Boys. Hello, how's Hello. it going, boys? Hey. Welcome, right, how you welcome. Doing? Thank you. Thanks for having us. Oh my God. Thanks they, for ha they, uh, they, it's an honor. It's really. an honor. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, they, they might be kind of trying to contain their their fangirling about us, but we are we are totally <laughs> out there fangirling about you guys. Yeah. Well, appreciate it. Yeah. So you so how are you guys doing? Uh, you're performing tonight. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, what's that experience like? We're very honored to be here. This is our first time for all five of us together at the Miss USA pageant. Actually, mm -hmm. Kevin judged the Miss USA pageant a couple years back. Back in 99 in Branson, really? Missouri. Woo! Woo! Branson! Yeah. This is Branson. the first Miss Missouri. Right. This yeah. is the first time all five of us are here performing. We're very honored to be here and wishing the best luck to all the ladies tonight. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So now, a lot of your songs are powerful love ballads. What do you look for in the perfect woman? 
And, and wow. You know, I know many of you are married. We're all married now. Yeah, so yeah, so I, I, yeah we're all married. Uh, an intelligent, from experience. you know, beauty comes from, from in, inside as well. I think having uh, an intelligent woman that you can have a conversation mm -hmm. with and, and that is awesome. But on the outside, you know, having the, the, the full package is, is what I look for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're all back together. Uh, what, what can we look forward to in the, in the coming months, year uh, from you guys musically? Uh, well, we just flew in from New York last night where we did a radio show, and uh, we are currently in the studio working mm -hmm. on our 10th studio album. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. We're looking to uh, drop our first <laughs> single in the spring of next year and then go on a world tour next summer. Any, any sneak peeks to any of the music? Can we, we can't hear no, anything now, yet. can we? Not, not yet. yet. We're, not just, yet. we're just, just getting it gotcha. going. No, no, I can't, can't hear it. Uh, you don't me, even know it yet. Me and Keith are going to harmonize right now, and, and okay. we would love for you to, to, to fill it out. To fill, yeah, you just know. kind of. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, oh I'm going to go. Oh oh go. Uh, I'm going to go here. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, wow. That's <laughs> It's oh guys. my God! We that was a uh, Jaws thing. Oh we yeah. like, we're, we're trying to find it. I know. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. 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 Really yeah. Great Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you ever need another bass, I am always <laughs> well, ready. Yeah. 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 We don't have a true bass in the group. I know. Yeah. I'm a baritone, and I always oh. have to sing bass, and I always have to go. We maybe need somebody uh, like me. Maybe need That's someone good. down here. <laughs> I can also right. do bass. We'll be on the lookout for our invitations to uh, audition for your next album in the yeah, mail. Pop, yeah, pop. Obviously, that is coming to us soon. Obviously, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Make sure you give your, your address to our manager. Yeah, or, or just somebody back there. Anybody. Yeah, some, anybody. Anyone anybody. in a suit, right? <laughs> anybody in a suit, just yeah, give your exactly. address, too. <laughs> you are making the childhood dreams of both me and my sister come true. Uh, she, she was a huge fan, and I was like, just kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't well, like we those guys. Closet fans. Closet fans. Closet yeah, fans. Yeah, secondary smoke from your sister. Yeah. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a contact high. Contact <laughs> high. That's, That's right. Hey, I love it. <laughs> I think there it really are lots was. of guys out there that got a contact high. Yeah. From uh, I'd say all of Hopefully. us really were. I think everybody really was a fan. But at the time, it, we, we weren't, it wasn't approved. It, like it, it we wasn't supposed to be your fans. It was a really tumultuous time. It was hard. We understand. Uh, but now it's cool. Now <laughs> we get to right Now everybody's yeah, yeah. on board. Uh, <laughs> you guys, welcome, welcome all. You guys, did a, you guys did a film on, recently. Are you doing anything more in, in the big picture business soon? Uh, well, AJ's got some uh, stuff I've, up. I've got a couple of films. I'm shooting one this fall and one next spring. I can't quite say with who yet, but mm -hmm. I'm going to release that soon. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we just finished doing this awesome film, Dead 7, that was written by Mr. Nick Carter, which was a blast. Yeah, it was um, a zombie western, yes. if I'm not right. Well, so, you know, I mean, who knows? We're all dabbling in a bunch of different stuff. But right now, first and you know, foremost is getting the brand new Backstreet record done right. and uh, going back on the road. Yeah. Well, if you ever need uh, to come to BuzzFeed and do some videos with us, we'd always love to have you. Thank you. Uh, so, we'll, we'll take you up on that one. Yeah. We're promoting our single and our album yeah, Absolutely, next year. right? Yeah. And that's when you we'll jump it. in as new yep. as the bassist. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll yeah. teach you the new songs and you can throw some harmony on it. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Try guys absolutely. try to become a boy band. Yeah, it's it's already set in stone. Amazing. All right, thank you guys so thank much. You. It really was an honor to meet all of you. Uh, we're going to continue luck on this carpet. On your performance yeah. later. Appreciate we're it. really thank looking forward to it. We know you'll kill it. You are my fire. The one desire believe when I say I want it that way. But we are two worlds apart. Can't reach to your heart when you say.
was incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. I, oh. I do want it that way. But we are being joined by some really important guests right now. Miss Universe, Pia Wurzbach, and yes, which is you, and Miss Teen USA, Catherine Hike. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> nailed it, nailed it. Hello, ladies, we're very excited to meet you. And uh, I hear that you are going to be judging Us. a Mr. USA. Uh, yes. Yes, actually. Yes. We, we want to call it our Mr. Red Carpet. Mr. Okay. Red Carpet? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. okay. Are you guys okay with that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. We're oh, we are so more ready. Than okay. But um, unfortunately, as we're looking around, um, there's not a lot of guys here, so it's just yeah. going to be between the two of you. you. Security took yes. our yes. We already got through the prelims. We're good. Yes. 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 Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. All right, great. We got through the prelims. The final is? Final okay. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to do? Oh, what do we need shit. to do? You're going to pose. Okay, okay. so Ned, teach us you how to pose. How do, how, do, how do I pose? What do, what do I want to do? Wait, let's see what you have yeah. first. Let's like, see what I got. Just show what you got. Get up there. Get up there. Yes. Work. Okay. A little bit more. Fears. Fears. Good. Oh. Wow, wow. Oh, okay. gosh. All right. All right. He pulled out the bite. Okay. Was okay. that okay. fierce enough for you, YouTube? Again. How about sweet this time? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, okay. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? Okay. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, confer, we're confer. We're going to do a deliberation okay. first. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, my God. 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 Okay, guys, this is how we do it. Okay. We'll guide you through, right? Okay. Okay. Stay right here. Okay. Okay. Right here. Right here. Okay. Okay. Right here. Okay. Right here. Face, okay. face each other. Face okay. Get parallel to me. Get parallel to me. Okay. 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 Hold hands. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to announce the winner. Oh my gosh. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? It doesn't matter what happens. It's, 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 you're my no, best you're, you're, you're my, my best brother. Friend. You're my brother. So we are happy to say that Mr. Red Carpet 2016 is... Nedder Keith, Nedder Keith, Nedder Keith, Nedder Keith, Ned! Ned! And you're not, you're not Steve Harveying me right no. now. You're not Steve Harveying me right now. No. This no. is for real. This is, this is for real. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Do I get a because Do I get a tiara? Oh, blue is one of my favorite and, um, colors, actually, but yeah. not as much as red. You get some flowers. Do I have a, a tiara yes, crown? Yeah, yeah, put that big vase oh, of flowers yeah, on yeah, his head. No, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Look, I know, I know that he is the be most beautiful. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you guys for tuning into the Red Carpet. You can vote online with the Miss USA app. Uh, we've had a great time here on the carpet so far. Check out the, the stream tonight. Check out the live broadcast. Yes, it's going to start in 15 minutes on Fox, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Thanks for hanging out with us on the wet uh, Thanks for hanging out with us on the red carpet. Okay. You guys you don't want to miss it tonight. I promise you. You don't want to miss it. Make sure that you're voting as well as watching tonight. Make sure you're voting on the Miss You app for yeah. your favorite Miss USA 2016 contestant. Yes, that's right. It's not just the judges. You yourself have a voice in this competition. So you can vote on the Miss You app. Make sure to download it. And then check it out right after the show. You get the first exclusive interview with a new Miss USA 2016. Woo! We'll see you next time. Thanks okay. for joining us. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Magic weed. <laughs> <laughs> you have like the light bulb. I can't yeah. believe I lost to Ned. <laughs> <laughs>